morning, and I and I welcome you to the Ballinger Creek Park in our beautiful Frederick County, Maryland. Uh, my name is Jeremy Courtright, and I'm the director of Frederick County Parks and Recreation. And I'd like to first recognize and thank the county executive here with us for supporting parks and recreation and the growth of trails in Frederick County, Maryland. Um, so, give it up for Jim. I would like to also uh, thank the former Parks and Commission member and now delegate, Ken Kerr, who's with us today. Ken? Yep. <clears throat> Next, I want to recognize our County Council President, MC Keegan Ayer, and Council members Jerry Donald and Kai Hagan, who are also with us today. Um, and I, I can't forget our PRC members. We have uh, David Twig and Howard Looney here today with us. Thank you, Parks and members. Yeah. And last but not least, I always have to thank my staff for this fantastic setup and their fantastic job at putting all this together. And, this, and let's just give it up for them. They're great. And, and we, we're here to celebrate trails today. And, and this trail for is the main reason but trails in general so and many of our frederick county parks have trails and maybe you don't know that um, paved and unpaved so designed for the entire use of the community we have the size and types of trails vary with each park but all are maintained by the staff within the department of parks unpaved or nature trails are perfect for leisurely strolls and observing the flora and fauna unique to each location and other trails, primarily the paved, paved trail and bike paths, which we all see today here, are a favorite for those of the community who just prefer to exercise in the open air and also enjoy some nature. On um, the Boundary Creek Trail here, you can observe a lot of nature. Um, it, it meanders through along the creek and there's a lot to see. So you get a lot of exercise and you can enjoy nature, so it's a win-win. Um, you can find those details of all of our trails at our website and we have a new uh, well we've had it for a few years now but we actually um, added trails to it last year and it's uh, at our interactive map on our website at recreator.com so you can go to our map at interactive map and click where where um, that you're looking for trails and you'll see all the trails in the county and they're all outlined by park by map and so you can either print those out or look at it on your phone and you can enjoy the trail where you're at so it's a fantastic amenity and it's a fantastic opportunity for you. In total, the Division of Parks and Recreation uh, has over 22 miles of trails in our parks. And now with the Ballinger Creek Linear Trail, we are happy that it's 4.2 miles more, 26, oh, just over 26 miles of trails. What's, in, what's interesting about this trail is it does, it starts at a park and it meanders through the community, whereas a lot of our parks are ex ex exclusive to that, inclusive just that trail, just that park. So this is very unique, and I know the community loves it because I go out to the community, I walk the trail, and I see the community coming and going throughout the, throughout this, the spurs of the trails. And <clears throat> I want just to point out, we'll have this map up here, and you'll find this exact map at various um, trailheads throughout the whole trail system. So if you walk it today or ride your bike on it, you'll be able to stop and see you are here stickers where you're located along the whole trail. And you'll notice that in many of these places, there's little spurs and we say spurs, little opportunities to go into the community and come and, come and go from the community that, that will continue to grow as the developments grow. Those opportunities still will still com continue to be added for years to come. So it, it gives an opportunity for you to quickly get on and off the park the trail where it's convenient for you and, en and enjoy the exercise and the outdoors. So it gives me great pleasure to now just invite the county executive up to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy, and good morning, everyone. I really want to start off by thanking Jeremy and our Park and Rec team. You know, they have done such a wonderful job. We know over the past year, our parks have seen, like parks all across our country, have seen a tremendous number of visitors. And we normally have uh, between two and two and a half million visits to our parks on a, uh, in a year. And we had something like four and a half million people visit a Frederick County Park uh, during this past year with the pandemic. So really, um, it was a great place for people to go and get some exercise and some respite from being cooped up uh, at home. 
So again, it really is a, a, a wonderful day here in Frederick County uh, for the people who live in the Ballinger Creek community and for people who live anywhere and everywhere in Frederick County. We finally get to celebrate the completion and, and celebrate the official opening of the Ballinger Creek Linear Trail. It's taken many years, well more than a decade, to reach this um, milestone. We knew all along that it would take some time to build all six sections of the Ballinger Creek Trail. That's because the project was designed to be phased in, uh, par portions of it uh, to be built concurrent with some new development, both residential and commercial industrial, uh, in the corridor. So the county has worked with multiple partners to create this 4.2 mile trail, which connects um, homes and residents to schools, parks, places of business and uh, places of entertainment. And it provides a great place to recreate, to walk, ride a bike, skate, and to, just to really get out and enjoy nature. Trails certainly contribute to our community's high quality of life. And you can see the beautifully paved pathway allows people again to walk, run, bike, or skate along Ballinger Creek. Now, I have an adult daughter who lives in Kingsbrook, and when I visit her, I will often take my grandson out in the stroller and take him for a walk on the trail, and it's a really enjoyable thing to do. My husband is a runner, and he's a biker, and he has uh, come over and enjoyed running the whole length of the trail uh, multiple times, and he said to me last night, you know, what are you doing tomorrow? I told him we're gonna officially open the Ballinger Creek Trail, and he said, you need to do more of these in the county. And so I want you to know I get this advocacy in my own household. But if you do walk along the trail, you get to you know hear the and see the birds to see deer and other wildlife and it really is an enjoyable place to go out and get some exercise and certainly that improves our health physical mental and our well-being in general so after the past year and a half we certainly appreciate the mental health benefits of being outside and enjoying the fresh air so residents of Ballinger Run you can see the communities Ballinger Run Kingsbrook and um, some other communities really have a great opportunity uh, to use the um, trail uh, every day and they can use it to walk to get to school or to go to the park or to go potentially to work. So over the past several years I've certainly heard from a growing number of people of their interest in uh, trails, bikeways, and bike lanes in Frederick County. So in response, uh, we have made the development of trails a priority in the county. The county's capital improvement plan now sets aside funding specifically for bikeways and trails. We hired a bicycle and pedestrian coordinator in the Division of Planning and Permitting. A new bikeway and trails plan was adopted. And in 2019, we formed a bicycle and pedestrian advisory committee to support the implementation of the plan and to provide valuable input on prioritizing projects uh, in the six-year CIP. The Ballinger Creek Linear Trail is the first major trail project to be funded, at least partially, through the CIP. The trail has been a long-term vision for this part of the county, and actually the master plan was drafted more than two decades ago, back in the year 2000. Now several sections were built by developers in coordination with the county as they designed their new residential and business communities. In fact, the first section of the trail was built more than a decade ago in 2010 by the developer of Westview South. Next was the Kingsbrook segment, which the county built in 2012. And this portion of the trail includes a spur that leads to Ballinger Creek Elementary School. And there's a spur to the sidewalk that runs parallel to Corporate Drive across from the shopping center. In 2018, we completed the stretch from Advisors Court to Westview South. And the following year, two more sections were completed. The county built the southeastern end from Westview South to the trail and parking area provided by the Home 2 Hotel on Bucky's Town Pike, and a connector trail to the parking lot was constructed by the developer. And the county connected uh, Ballinger Creek Park to Ballinger Run with a side trail to Tuscarora High School. So finally, at the end of last year, the last section was completed um, by the developer of uh, Ballinger Run, which is essentially across the street. We announced the trail's completion with a video, but we certainly wanted to come here today to celebrate when the weather was good and it is a nice, warm, beautiful day here with a bit of a breeze. And so we're really happy to be here to celebrate the completion of this trail. And we look forward to doing many more trails as part of um, connecting our community and providing recreational opportunities in Frederick County. So again, I want to thank our Frederick County Parks and Recs Division under the direction of Jeremy Courtright for their work designing the trail and guiding the project through the past two decades. The Park and Rec staff do an absolutely fabulous job maintaining um, 
maintaining this trail as well. It's always uh, well maintained, as are all of our parks. I do want to also thank our private sector partners, our private sector developers who constructed portions of the trails, and I want to especially thank all the volunteers who serve on the Master Plan Committee, who serve on our Bike and Pedestrian Advisory Committee, and who serve on our Parks and Recs Committee. Because of their work and their vision, the Ballinger Creek Trail provides outstanding recreational opportunities and connects people to education, jobs, and to this beautiful park. And it really adds to the high quality of life that we've come to expect and enjoy here in Frederick County. So with that, I'm going to um, turn over the microphone to uh, County Councilman uh, Jerry Donald. He uh, is personally a big advocate for bikeways and trails since he himself is a big biker. And um, he also serves on the Park and Recs Commission as well as the um, Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Committee. So with that, I welcome Jer uh, Jerry Donald. Thank you very much. I was talking to Jan yesterday and she said, are you gonna come to the event tomorrow? And I said, try and stop me. Uh, I am so excited to be here. Uh, I am so excited to see so many people who I know are excited about having more trails uh, throughout the county. I see, you know, Shane's here and Darius is here from our Bicycle and Pedestrian Committee. And that got started because I, I said, I asked you and I said, let's see if we can take this from being a piece of paper into something that's on the ground in reality. And she followed through and she made that happen. So I want to personally thank the county executive. I also want to say how smart her husband is to want more of these. Uh, John Gardner is a brilliant man and should be listened to, you know, all the time. Uh, it's good to see people from Parks and Rec here today uh, and, and just everybody who's excited about trails in Frederick County. Now, one thing ab about a trail, first of all, are there any lawyers here right now? Okay, I, I can say this. Don't get too upset. It's, it's sort of a thing, but just go with it. There's an old saying that if you have one lawyer in a town, eh. You know, he writes some wills and some stuff like that and you get by. But if you have a couple of lawyers in a town, they can make bank, right? Well, if you have one trail, that's nice. But if you have a lot of trails that interconnect, then loads of people come and participate. It's the interconnectivity of trails that really make this sort of thing happen. So John's right. The more of these trails we can get that connect to each other, the better this is going to be for everybody. The more exciting it's going to be. You can take short walks. You can take long walks. You can take rides to parks. You can do all kinds of things that you can't just do with one trail. But let's take a look at this map for a second because this has been, you know, 11 years coming to fruition. This is a great trail because it takes you out of a park. But one of the things I dream about for Frederick County is that we have more trails that take people to a park. So a park doesn't just sit there by itself in isolation waiting for somebody with a car to bring people there, right? that a kid in Kingsbrook can get on his bike and ride to this park and use this park without having to ask mom or dad to get him here. That is something that we could use more and more of in all our parks to interconnect them and inter interconnect them with the community. That will be a great thing when that happens. So I'm really, really, really looking forward to that. Uh, you know, also, if, if you just want to walk and see things, I've walked the trail. Uh, I have never in my life gotten so close to a heron that didn't fly away immediately as I did walking this trail with, with my family early in the spring. You can, you can see nature, like it feels like you're in the city, but you're also in nature at the same time. This trail is a beautiful thing. I hope everybody here can get out and enjoy it. I want to personally, again, thank the county executive for her financial support with her budgets on this, and I hope we can continue this into the future. This will be a great thing for Frederick County. It will attract people to this county at some point in time. Uh, we are doing a trail that hopefully will break ground on next year, the FMP trail. The FMP trail will be in the northern part of the city going to Walkersville, eventually to Woodsboro, eventually uh, to the Mason-Dixon line. We're going to do a second trail that's going to come in down here, uh, see if I can find it on the map, uh, on New Design Road, that will take you down along New Design Road on a 10-foot wide side path. It will eventually take you to Adamstown, then all the way down to the CNO Canal. So you'll be able to have a trail that goes all the way through Frederick County from the CNO Canal to the Mason Dixon line. And that's our future if we decide to make it happen. Thank you. At this, at this time, any other council members like to 
Okay, very good. What I'd like to uh, I'd like to invite Carrie Saavedra up. She has a an activity and just kind of, of the ribbon cutting ceremony component. She wants to give us a little instruction on that, and then um, and we have a little ribbon cutting ceremony to kick this thing off. Um, so, and I will I will just say the rec staff have worked on this project for some activities that will continue not just for this event but forever um, at this park. There's a a program that they have put together, and she'll share a little bit about that. Thanks, Gary. All right, well, thank you all for coming today. Um, as Jeremy said, we put together a little bit of an activity that goes along the trail. As you go along the trail, starting with mile marker zero over here, you will find a QR code. And at each mile marker or throughout the trail, you'll find different mile markers that will help you to enjoy some of that nature that Councilman Donald was talking about. And it will be just a little bit of an educational experience. For those of you that are biking, you may not want to stop at all of them. Um, but for those of you that are walking, it's definitely an opportunity to enjoy a little bit of and learn a little bit more about the things that are surrounding you on this trail and all the nature and other activities that you can enjoy. And for kids, it's great because we have some little I spy kind of things to do along the trail. So thank you all very much for coming. Are you ready for the ribbon? So I will have the county executive and the county council members to come up for the ribbon. Mm -hmm. 